Uh, what's up, guys? Um, um, as some of you know, I've been having problems with uh, my heater. Heater. Um, so I decided to go out and uh, purchase a, um, a new heater. Um, it's the uh, Eheim heater, 300 watt. This is my invoice. Um, and this is the heater. It's a fairly large heater. Um, the product was ordered from C Corals on Amazon.com. It was sent from C Corals, not from Amazon. Um, this is what came with the heater. And if you guys notice, there's something missing here. Um, here you have the uh, suction cups to mount the heater to uh, the aquarium. Um, however, you don't see the attachment to mount the suction cups to the actual heater. I'm, I'm, I'm really upset right now because I, I waited a while to get this heater and this heater wasn't very cheap. It's not by far not the most expensive heater. Um, but when I purchase something I expect to get what I pay for. Um, once I, I kind of looked the product over and realized I didn't have it, I just got off work um, and came home to set my heater up. And I started looking through the product a little more. I, you know, of course, I see the manual here. Um, and I started looking at this piece here. Um, this is just for transport. And as you can see, um, some of the little teeth, sorry, some of the little teeth are broken off. And when I started thinking about that more and more, I started checking the packaging for these little pieces. Um, these um, additional clips were not in the box. Um, so it, it leads me to believe that um, this package was previously open. And when I got the box, the box is open now, um, but it was open when it arrived. It, it, it was already open. The aquarium wasn't properly um it didn't appear that the, the aquarium was in the, uh, I'm sorry, the um, heater was in the box uh, as it would come from the factory. Um, the little plastic pieces aren't in there, so that also, you know, that, that kind of what led me to believe that this box was previously open. It was the last um, heater they had in stock. Uh, and I'm thinking now there's a reason um, <laughs> why you shouldn't buy the last of anything. Um, they, I feel like they held this heater um, because they knew it was a problem with it um, or they knew that it was missing some equipment and they sent it out anyway. Um, I contacted Amazon. Uh, I'm trying to contact the seller through Amazon. Um, and um, I just did it tonight so um, hopefully I'll hear something tomorrow. Um, if I don't hear anything by tomorrow noon I'm going to contact the seller. Um, and but I'm really upset. Um, this is gonna. Um, I was gonna go to um, pick up my discus fish um, tomorrow, um, tomorrow evening. Um, by that time, the uh, heater would should have, um, you know, should have gotten the aquarium to the temperature. I should have been able to adjust it um, by that time. And now I can't get my discus fish, so I'm, I'm really pissed off. I've been waiting a really, really long time. Um, for these discus fish. Um, my local aquarium store does have them in stock, um, but they usually go pretty fast. Um, and being that I don't have a heater and I, I'm not going to go purchase discus fish, spend $250 on discus fish, and have to purchase another heater. Um, so, um, my plans have been pushed back. So, and that's that. I'm really upset, not happy with sea calls right now. Um, but I will give this company an opportunity to uh, correct their mistake. I'll also give you guys an update on that. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.